Livestock contributes more to climate change than previous estimates. In 2006, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization had estimated that animal raising for meat and dairy is responsible for 18% of global warming. However, it is becoming increasingly clear to scientists that the livestock industry is playing a more significant role. If we look at um Chief of the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, made the following remark during a talk he gave in September 2008 on the role of reducing meat consumption in addressing global warming. Since people found out about uh, this talk that I was going to give here today, I've received a number of emails from people that I respect saying that the 18% figure is an underestimate. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a low estimate and in actual fact it's much higher. Greenhouse gases are emitted during virtually every step of the meat producing process. Of the three major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, methane is up to 72 times more potent than CO2, while nitrous oxide is up to 300 times more potent. To arrive at the potency of these gases, the general method is to average over a 100-year period. However, methane in particular is a much shorter-lived gas. Scientists have thus determined that it is more accurate to average methane's potency over 20 years. This gives methane a 72 times greater potency than CO2 as a greenhouse gas. U.S. physicist Noam Moore of the New York University Polytechnic Institute stated the following in a telephone interview with Supreme Master Television. When measured over 100 years, the United Nations said animal agriculture is responsible for 18% of global warming emissions, which is an enormous amount, far more than all transportation put together. If you look at it on a shorter term, methane has an outsized effect, so that number goes up. The true value in the near term, when we take all these things into account, is much higher. If you look at these reports, I'll suggest it has about 25 times the impact of CO2. But really, when it's up there in the atmosphere doing its work, it's 72 times the impact. And that, uh, that makes a big difference. Stock is the single largest source of human-caused methane. Sure, we have to deal with CO2 in the long run. But if you want to make an impact on climate in the next 20 years, the place to do it is with the shorter-lived greenhouse gases most important of which is methane. So of the emissions in the next 20 years, the CO2 in this year's emissions will only be about 40% um, of the total warming. The other 60% or more will be from the shorter lived gases, most important of which is methane. In addition, according to US physicist Noam Moore, livestock has an even larger share of emissions when yet another unaccounted factor is acknowledged. Aerosols or particles released along with CO2 from burning fossil fuels that, despite their detrimental health aspects, actually have a cooling effect. So when you consider aerosols and look at the net effects of burning fossil fuels, the carbon dioxide released keeps the planet, the aerosols cool the planet, and the net effect roughly cancels each other out. That means that most of the warming we've seen historically and are likely to see in the near future comes from other gases mainly methane. Already, livestock is 20% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Excuse me, the meat system includes the animals, includes growing the food for the animals, includes the transport of the meat, includes the um, fertilizer to grow the food, to, grow, to feed the meat. And that's with not treating methane any more than the sort of normal way it's used. If you treat it... Campbell, a renowned researcher and internationally best-selling author of The China Study, also indicated that livestock's role in heating the planet is much bigger. And I just had some information just recently that the new figures now indicate that at least half of the greenhouse gases that are out there now, not, not the 15 or 20 percent, at least half and maybe considerably more, are due to livestock production.